Thanks for rolling up to Blue Marley and his certified pot hit. Sparking up one of my uh, afternoon spliff joint. You know we about to do BC. Let's jump in, bro. New York State legalized recreational marijuana last year, but has yet to allow licensed dispensaries to sell it beyond medical use. As CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports, that hasn't stopped all kinds of unlicensed vendors from popping up all over the city, and now the state is trying to crack down. Right? 2020s, right? It's a new renaissance. If you've walked through Washington Square Park recently, you've likely noticed more people openly smoking pot. Stoner for life, 420 every day. And you've also maybe seen vendors who have set up tables selling everything from gummies to joints and weed candies. I bought two joints, $10. Um, yeah, one for my mom as a souvenir. <laughs> okay, so hold on. All right, New York legalized weed last year and shit. Um, so so you know what I'm saying they they're in the process right now of um letting the uh recipients of the first batch of uh licenses set set up these stores and shit. And New York is doing something decent that nobody else is doing. New York is actually putting the money in to get these storefronts up and running. Getting people in connection with farms to set up their inventory and all that type of shit. So, so New York is doing 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 some decent shit as long as weed goes. But they do have this problem that you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers, is trying to buy weed and there's no store set up. So niggas is on the street selling that shit any way the fuck they can, bro. In March of last year, New York State legalized marijuana for adults 21 and older and lowered the penalties for unlawful sales, making marijuana increasingly easy to get, even though the first licensed dispensaries aren't supposed to open until the end of this year. Over the years, drugs have plagued Washington Square Park and police have kept a close watch. In the CBS2 News story from October 1997, 72 people were arrested for doing drugs in the park in a single raid. Not the 70s no more, baby. But now a gray area in the marijuana laws have allowed a gray market to emerge. Cops have been more lenient. A lot of what people don't see out here is not about people just selling weed. It's about the fact that people out here being creative entrepreneurs. And that's the reason why the cops don't stop. Because they see it's not about violence. Here. These sellers. You know what? We ain't never really been about violence and shit. Like, like, okay, Washington Square Park. That's no, not somewhere I've ever been to. But if you've uh <coughs> known anything about we history, you know, know what I'm saying that was a, that was a go to <coughs> for weed in New York and shit. Um, the fact that you know what I'm saying niggas is is still out there. 50 something years later you know what I mean you know, I'm able to sell and don't get harassed that's a positive bro that's a positive there ain't nothing negative about that say they've always been in the background doing their business in the shadows now they feel they can more openly promote it just as we were talking to them park police walked by but didn't stop to inspect a few vendors still decided to pack up just in case you guys just saw the parks department come by so is that why you cleaned everything up of course sometimes we got they just doing their job and it's not just here in the park where reefer is rampant trucks and vans have popped up around the city from weed world to stone love to uncle bud we tried hold on bro in new york they got weed trucks like food trucks what the fuck what what Get my voice high as shit for that <laughs> my voice my voice went extra high pitch for that shit, bro what the fuck bro a, 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 a food truck that's a weed truck and don't sell no food bro that need what it do had to ask this vendor about his business but he said no comment According to the recently formed Office of Cannabis Management, it's illegal to sell cannabis without a license, grow it at home, or smoke in a car or private business. But it's illegal to grow it at home or smoke in your car. What? Come on, come on, New York. Come on, New York. What y'all trying to do? But it is legal for adults 21 and over to possess up to three ounces of cannabis and share it with another adult above 21.
All right, so in New York, you can't grow at home. You can't smoke in your car or in a private business. But you can have three ounces of weed on you and share it with, with, with motherfuckers that's 21. Like, yeah, you just letting niggas sell weed. That's all you do. You just letting niggas sell weed. It's that word share that is some vendors skirting laws. For example, selling a haircut or art or a membership and then gifting a customer weed. What we're seeing, though, is some pretty enterprising entrepreneurs. This is going to require a lot more enforcement. Otherwise, we'll wind up like other states where you'll, it'll be the Wild West um, and it won't work then. States. That's, that's not true. That's not true. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. The way New York is doing it right now, it actually, actually is not a bad idea. Okay, we can't sell motherfuckers weed, right? That's fine. That's fine. Um, I got a hundred. I got a hundred CDs, right? I'll sell a nigga CD and gift them the weed and shit. So, so you know what I'm saying? He'll come. He'll come buy the CD, the twenty dollars, and end up with just enough weed that you now I mean it was twenty dollars. Still, I mean, that weed was a gift. He bought the CD from it. Senator Diane Savino introduced a bill to make it illegal to not only sell but transfer cannabis without a license. We're trying to also create an environment where people can feel uh, some level of confidence and safety in the product that they're purchasing. The Office of Cannabis Management has sent 52 cease and desist letters to illegal vendors that say if operations don't stop, those vendors can face hefty fines and may not get approved for a license to join the market when it finally opens. I don't know how y'all going to make that shit work. If it's already illegal for me to share my weed with somebody, you know what I mean, this, 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 this 21... <laughs> You can't you can't say shit about this nigga giving me money to smoke with me. Like I'm not I'm not selling him the weed. He just giving me money. In Washington Square Park, Natalie Dudridge, CBS Two News. Well, the state has so far issued 50 licenses to grow marijuana, another 50 licenses for dispensaries with more to come, and they expect consumers to be able to legally buy by the end of the year. That's dope, bro. That's dope, bro. I hope they get all that shit, you know what I mean, uh, set up so that uh, that shit is actually a viable marketplace. Because, I mean, like, right now, it's it. Right now, shit, they making this shit work, but you know what I mean? They go, they go through all these backdoor steps, and you don't want, you don't want motherfuckers doing that for weed and shit because that's something that niggas smoke a lot, and you don't want to be smoking some tainted shit, bro.